Why hasn't Sega Sonic the Hedgehog been re-released? This arcade exclusive Sonic title from 1993 is now more famous for being infamous as one of the last Sonic Curios left unre-released. This isometric platformer has a heavy emphasis on outrunning various hazards that are constantly creeping up on your character. There's an urgency to Sega Sonic that makes speed vital to clearing a stage. The game is widely remembered for a unique control scheme that requires use of a trackball to move Sonic and his buddies Ray and Mighty. This control scheme was blamed for why the game didn't make it to 2005's Sonic Gems collection, and that may well have been the case, but the game has been available to play with very little issue in emulators for years prior to the release of Gems Collection. So what gives? Why are we still not able to play Sega Sonic the Hedgehog? There's certainly been a lot of golden opportunities to re-release the game in recent years. The most obvious one is with the release of Sonic Mania Plus, that directly references the game by including both Ray and Mighty as playable characters, with Ray's appearance being his very first since the release of Sega Sonic. It could have been included on the Astro City Mini. It could have been included in Sonic Origins. But no, it's still the long-lost arcade-exclusive Sonic game that Sega refuses to re-release. The game deserves to be preserved. It belongs to one of the biggest video game franchises of all time, and somehow it continues to elude modern video game preservation. Yes, you can play it in emulators like MAME, but it shouldn't be up to fans to archive software, especially a game on this scale. Regardless of how you feel about Sonic nowadays, he is still one of the most recognisable characters in gaming, and has rightfully earned the opportunity to thrive in a modern gaming landscape. But we shouldn't ignore Sonic's history. Every game ever released deserves to be preserved, regardless of quality. If people worked on something and created a piece of art, then we owe it to those people to preserve their work as a part of humanity's history. I know that sounds overblown, and maybe I am making Sega Sonic the Hedgehog feel more important than it actually is, but the media we create is important. The things we create are what we leave behind. Every day we lose books, music and films due to failing storage media and the infrastructure to make this stuff readily available, and it seems utterly wild to me that an entry in a franchise as big as Sonic the Hedgehog has not seen a single re-release outside of a limited 1993 arcade release. Yes, the game has flaws. It's short, with very little replay value, and the control scheme is unnecessarily convoluted for a platform game. But look at it! Look at this wonderfully detailed pixel art, and the beautifully expressive characters. This game is also the first time we got to hear Sonic the Hedgehog speak. That's a watershed moment that should be remembered. New Sonic fans should be able to experience this game. It has value as a piece of Sonic history, and it's about time Sega pulled their finger out and made it available officially on a new compilation, a new mini console, or even just a digital re-release, similar to an arcade archives release. Let's do better to preserve video games, because every single one of them is a moment in time, a piece of history that a team of people worked on hard to bring to market. Publishers owe it to their employees to preserve their work, and the millions of Sonic fans around the world would very much appreciate the opportunity to experience a title they've probably never had the chance to play on real hardware. I count myself extremely lucky to have been able to play Sega Sonic on real hardware twice in my lifetime, but that sentence alone is ludicrous when you read it back. I've been lucky to play a specific game twice because of how badly it's been preserved. Sort it out, Sega. Let's get Sega Sonic the Hedgehog re-released on something. Anything.